All right, legends, welcome back. So in the last video, we went into detail uh, about what we needed to homebrew. And in this video, we're going to start brewing. Okay, so we need to heat up a kettle with four gallons of water. And if your kettle isn't already clean, here's a 30 second video on how to clean a kettle. Click here. You can use anywhere from three to four gallons of water because we're just going to add more spring water at the end to make it an even five gallons. The pros and cons of why I use four gallons, uh, the the pros is that you can conserve your spring water and save money. It's about two bucks a gallon. The cons is that it's going to take a few more minutes to heat up and obviously longer to cool down. So keep that in mind. Okay, so heat up water from your sink and make sure it's as hot as you can get it. This will save your stove time to heat it up. My tap water with the heat turned all the way up can get to about 125 degrees. Now that's pretty hot. I use these plastic jugs as a gallon measurement. This plastic is super strong. I'm pretty sure I've used this exact empty juice gallon for about a year now. Use strong plastic. Don't use plastic that gets warped easily like this. It'll give you an inaccurate measurement of what a gallon is. Okay, so the reason we're using tap water right now is because eventually we are going to boil this water. The heat from the boil will kill off any bacteria in the tap water, unless you're using some nasty, nasty well water or swamp water. Then the heat from the boil is questionable. Um, if you know your water is super nasty, use four gallons of spring water for this part. But 99.9% .9 of all people can just use tap water. I drink my tap water all the time. Okay, so we've got our four gallons of water in our kettle. Now let's get it over to the stove and crank your stove up to the highest heat it can go. As you see, I've got a couple inches of room before my water overflows. You're gonna wanna have a couple inches too because when we bring it to boil, there's a good chance it will overflow, especially when we add hops to it. But we'll watch that in another video. Right now, just get four gallons in your kettle and have a few inches of space. Okay, so the overall goal for this video is that we need to get our water to 155 degrees. My stove is pretty powerful for a non-gas stove, and I think my record time is 13 minutes to get it from the 125 degree tap water to 155 degrees on my stove. Let me know what your guys' time is. Post it in the comment section below. Get it to 155 and then turn the heat all the way off. And in the next video, we're going to steep our grains and mix in our malt extract.